Hi, Jesse. Thanks, Emily. I'm sure I'll have more questions soon. Just let me know. Hope has asked us to document the hiss incantation, as she calls it. You mean like in person? In person, with a pencil and paper. I think she's trying to get us killed. Hope wants us to get a field lab set up as soon as possible. Time to work. Meet me in the maintenance. Like I said before, the janitor is a friendly face. The maintenance sector is the janitor domain. If I can find Ati here, he can help me reach the override. Maybe it was you who got me into the oldest house with the lockdown on. Maybe it was Ati. It felt like he made the elevator appear that took me to Trench's office. Is Ati guiding me too? The directorial override is right there, in the control room. How do we get there?
What's down that way? Well done. You got the job. It's place for congratulations. Yippee, satana. It happened in the last drop. I truly need an assistant. Funny thing is, I've been a janitor. I'm more at home in that role than as the director. Only Ati here seems to see that. Yeah, hi, Ati. Look, we need to get the lockdown lifted, otherwise I can't get to the other sectors. Can you help me get to the override? Yes, yes. Easy peasy. It's just around the corner. But first, we need to get you working. Very small couple of hours job. Something tells me it's going to be more than that. Yeah, yeah, you think there's a dog buried in this? I can tell you are not the yesterday's Krause's son. That's why you make a great assistant. Very well. I'll hit the facts on the table. Now, Magnus, I'm going to tell you that this house has a vermin problem. A bad one. They've already messed up the cooling pumps. At the power generators of a power plant, Berkele. And the pensioner inside is starting to feel the band around his head tighten. The situation needs to be fixed before the plant blows up and we all disappear like a fart in Sahara. Trying my best to keep up with this. Fix the coolant pumps and the power generators, otherwise the power plant will blow? Oh, don't you worry. I've left you clear instructions. You'll catch the end of the thread before I go to my vacation. The works on the task board here. You can do later, when you have time. Vacation? <laughs> right. Yes, no one's gonna cancel my holiday or seeds gonna rattle. But don't worry at all. You'll take care of it and soon this crisis is gonna be last winter snow. You better go now, so you don't have to run with your head as your third leg. The door in the back leads to the plant. The door in the back. That's great. Thank you, Ati. the dress. Throw it in the fire. Burn it all. Burn it into a reindeer, not into a moon.
drawing the pyramid. The what? The pyramid. What's a pyramid? The black pyramid. It's in the astral plane. Airplane? Astral plane. It's big, white, and empty. Or is it? It's a weird, crazy, alien dimension. The white goes on forever. You can get lost in all that white and never find your way back home. I miss my home. makes me nauseous. An object of power. How do you think it got down here? A carousel horse. Why is kid stuff always so creepy? Keep up with me now.
Okay, so what happens again if that thing blows up? Power. Explosion. Too much. Director's duty. Keep the lights on. out here, lady. Go see Chief Arish. He's just inside. He'll help you. Ma'am! Hey! Chief Arish, FBC Security. Shouldn't you be in a safe room? They all have HRAs. We're on the same side. My name is Jesse Faden. I'm here to perform the directorial override to get the lockdown lifted. Yeah, yeah. Chief Arish, FBC Security. I'm just... Oh, hang on. You're the new director. <laughs> um, it's a pleasure, ma'am. Let's skip the formalities, please. Right. Faden, ma'am. Look, as you can probably tell, it's a bit of a shit show down here. We've been holding our ground, but whatever's gotten into our buddies has them wrecking the coolant pumps and the power converters. The NSC keeps overheating and... My crews keep getting shot before they have a chance to make any repairs. NSC? Oh, sorry. Bureau jargon. It's what we call the power plant. You know, the uh, big rumbling metal thing? <laughs> uh, Salvador, head of security, asked me to protect it in case of an attack. See, what's inside is dangerous. But Dr. Darling seemed to know it would be a target. Darling? He's here? No, he came down a few days ago, before everything went to hell. He was out of it. He smelled like a bar mat. He was ranting about vulnerabilities and how he only had one large-scale HRA, but that he needed it somewhere else. Still, at least he gave us these personal HRAs before he left. Hey, did I mention that he was tearing his clothes off? <laughs> Crazy dude. Darling knew the hiss was coming. Listen, I love playing 20 questions as much as the next guy, but we have got to get the water and electrical systems repaired before this baby blows. I'll have my guys unlock the doors out of here for you. I'll take care of it. You stay and keep the hiss away from the plant if you can. The hiss? That's what we're calling him? Well, that's catchy. Oh, listen, the radios aren't working, so if you find my boss Salvador out there, could you please ask him what the plan is? I'm sure he will have one by now. I'll keep an eye out for him. He sure has a lot of faith in his boss. Try to stay alive.
Power Cut. Replace the parts. My name is Dr. Pierce, lead researcher of the Power Community I told you I've discovered a code Omega paranatural entity residing within the Bureau itself. Right under our noses. Darling refused to allocate me the budget or resources, so, so I'm taking matters into my Full of hazardous biological material. So it seems like I'm breaking some environmental regulations on waste disposal, but if that's what Ati wants, then I'll get it done.
place is gonna come down. Enemy the clock is blocking the pipes. You need to be He is very clever. He is trying to sneak in. now? My old enemy the clock is blocking the pipes. You need to deal with that He is very clever. He is trying to sneak in. We got him caught with his hand in the fist.
the hell is that? Oh, that's the most disgusting thing I've ever seen. Hold together a little longer.
What's your read on all this? When the converters and coolant pumps are working again, we should be able to get this baby back down to a safe temperature. I hope. What do you know about the Hiss? Not much. Only what I've seen. Well, they use the same tactics that Marshall and Salvador taught us, which makes me think that the Hiss haven't completely erased the people inside, which is a pretty fucking horrible thought. Or they're just using whatever they find in their victims' heads. In any case, they are really eager to get inside the power plant. Why do you think that is? Shit, I don't know. They want to make my life harder? What do you do here, Arish? Security chief of the maintenance sector. I make sure all the weird shit down here doesn't bother the maintenance crews. Learned everything I know from Salvador. The best security agent this bureau has ever seen. And you like your job? I love it. You know, everyone thinks that maintenance is the lowest rung on the ladder just because we fix pipes instead of writing memos, but I gotta be honest, these are the bravest people in the goddamn building. I'm proud to work with them. I've done a few odd jobs with these kind of folks. They say what they mean. I like that. What exactly is the power plant? Listen, I only know what Salvador told me. But I know it generates all the electricity for the Bureau, and it's got two very simple rules. Rule one, keep it below a certain temperature. Rule two, don't ever, ever open it. Oh, and three, uh, it's classified, so I shouldn't ask. Sounds like secrets are standard operating procedure around here. Oh, yeah. It's all part of the job. What do you know about the service weapon? Not much. That thing is director only. Salvador told me by the time he saw Trench use it. Sounds like that gun can do some serious damage. Yeah, I did see pictures of it once, though, and, uh, it looks different to that thing you're carrying. You monitor or something? It's new. Is new a good thing? Given the circumstances, I'd say new is our best bet. Do you know this Ati guy? <laughs> of course. He's my favorite coffee break buddy. Dude has got some crazy stories. He probably knows more than anyone else around here. If you can make sense of what he's saying. Any idea where he's from? I'm guessing Sweden. Uh, he's from where he's from. Look, there are just some stones that are better left unturned, you know? I should be going. Right. You gotta... What's your read on all this?
It's fried up. We need to fix it. All the big bats inside the plant has a ship.
could only be lifted by a directorial override. This is what we came here to do. That's it. The other sector should be open now. I think it's time I told Emily why I'm here. I'll risk it. You two should get to know each other.
Jesse, you made it. And you lifted the internal lockdown. Let's talk, Emily. Yes, of course. Listen, Emily. <sighs> Screw it. Just tell her. I haven't been completely honest. I have a younger brother, Dylan. When we were kids, we found an old slide projector in Ordinary's landfill. The slides created doorways to other places. Bad things happened. Came through. That's all she gets. The rest stays locked inside. But we found help. Through one of the doorways, we met something. A being. A being? What kind of being? It's hard to describe, but it... She helped us. We managed to turn the projector off. The bad things that came through the doorways were gone. After that, your people came, tried to grab us. I ran away. They got Dylan. I left him behind. Bureau agents took your brother? Yes. You covered it up. No one believed me. I just want to find Dylan. I've been looking for him ever since. What happened to the slide projector? It sounds like another object of power. I thought you took it. The Bureau. Along with Dylan. I've never heard of it. But around here, I assume everything's classified. You know, I looked into the ordinary AWE case files after you mentioned it. Trench and Darling were both involved. A large area of the containment sector was reserved for it. The case hasn't been active for a long time. I have no idea if anything's still there. Can you tell me more about this being you found? Let's hope you two get along. She's been with me ever since ordinary. In my head. She led me to you. I call her... Polaris. As in, a guiding star. Did Polaris know about the Hiss? If she got you in here, in spite of the lockdown, she's very powerful. Which may help explain your test results. Your readings are incredible, Jesse. Now, cross-referencing them with the database, I found two matches in Darling's old classified files. Unfortunately, I can't access them beyond the file codes, but one was P6, referring to a prime candidate for a potential future bureau director. Uh, this was logged years ago. Dylan. Is that Dylan? The other match is on something called Hedron, which must be connected to these Hedron resonance amplifiers somehow. All I know is that Marshall went to the research sector to secure the HRA production after the his first attacked. So... Marshall seems like our best lead on Dylan. I need to go after her. How can I get to the research sector? Use my key card. The sector elevator will take you there. Marshall is the next step. What Emily told me about ordinary, my powers being connected to things in the Bureau's past. I am so close to something. Do you feel it? Something's coming. We take turns to come for a visit. I helped you. You owe me now. And when time comes, I will come calling.